what's up you guys Vibo here doing a GI Joe review of the character blowtorch version 4 if you want this figure you can buy from the link in the description below as we can see this is a really old figure which is released on 2011 and if you have missed this version of blowtorch you are in a luck because it was again re-released in the heated battle set as a part of first wave of 50th anniversary figures in 2014 the set also contains Heat Viper. Anyways, as this is a pretty old figure, I got it while I was cleaning my shelf and thought to review it so it may be in a bad condition. Anyways, in the front, we see a cool image of Blowtorch and Blowtorch action figure with a quite good number of weapons and accessories. Then we see all the description stuff. If you want to read the description, just pause the video. I kind of zoom it a little. Now you can pause the video. Okay, hope these parts be good. Not like other Marvel Legends, I'm gonna crack this open right now before you. So, not like other Marvel Legends videos, I'm gonna unbox it before you. And okay, we get a flamethrower an axe and there goes the mines and we get GH okay GH official display stand then a tank like cylinder I guess it's a fire extinguisher we get a rifle and a backpack wait yeah and there goes the backpack and finally the action figure the blue touch um, yeah at last it came outside and this is the blue touch out of the packaging with all the accessories first let's take a closer look of the accessories then closer look of the figure first this is the official display stand of the blue touch you can see the name at the bottom right there man that looks cool then you can see a backpack with two cylinders over there and as many peg holes I guess we have to connect the pipes over there and the, re the panel is removable then we see a fire extinguisher with a pipe with some description over it and then we see the outgrowth over there then we get the flamethrower which is a unique and really long and sculptured and design is very good enough uh, the flamethrower is really cool and then we see the black rifle which is nice and it's the same type of rifle where other gi just have let's compare it with the flamethrower do you know what like the most in the gi joe it's the accessories the design of these accessories are detailed and these two weapons really look cool then comes the axe and then a hose which I guess we have to connect to the figure or the backpack and then comes the landmines the landmines can be made into half and I don't know where to keep these landmines I have no idea so now let's have a closer look how to connect the hose to the backpack so you see the hole in the backpack right you have to insert the hose inside it and then connect uh, the pipe into the gun in this way uh, let me insert it uh, you can also store the gun inside the backpack I mean side of the backpack and like this and you can also insert other rifle on the other side the backpack really looks very cool and you can insert this with the help of this outgrowth inside the action figure now let's come to the other accessory this is a uh, fire extinguisher I don't know where to keep the pipe but it's inserted perfectly you can see right that's really cool for the blowtorch and I have no idea where to keep the pipe now you can also insert the backpack 
the backpack in the same peg hole is really cool it's a bit loose but i can fix this out yeah in this way the gun can be stored and this can be also removed and the next thing is the axe then the axe with a good paint apps can be easily holded by the figure in this way and now the rifle the same goes with the rifle present with this accessories and then the flamethrower it's tight and the figure is perfectly holding all the accessories now let's take a closer look at the figure We see the same torso, waist and the upper legs of Snake Eyes version 35 from 2008 and the head and arms and also the lower legs of Blowtorch are from the version 3. As you can see the detailing and the paint apps came out really nice and the surprising thing is we can also remove the mask. As you want to remove the mask, as we want to remove the mask, you can disconnect the tube with the torso. And then remove the wire. Come on, okay. Yeah, I did it earlier. It was cool. Okay, okay. From this side, we have the mask. This is how he looks after removing the mask. The paint apps look really good in the on the face, and the face is really clean. The torso with a unique design is good. The combination of red and yellow color is really good. And I can say it is better than the figure from 1984. The hands came out pretty good with a yellow dress and a red color combination. And then we see the red protecting pads right over there. Then we see the protecting pads on the thighs and on the feet also. The shoes look really good. And the fire extinguisher is always connected I guess it's permanently connected and let's go for the articulation the head can move left and right but cannot move up and down the app crunches and for app crunches it can move forward backward and the swivels coming to the arms the arms can rotate for 360 degrees his hand can move that much and the whole hand can rotate in this way because it's a 3.75 inch there is no bicep swivel and we get a double jointed elbow and the wrist can also rotate and coming to the legs he can kick forward but can't kick backward but sideways he can kick and double jointed knee his knees can move down and up that's all for this figure Thank you guys for watching my video from the beginning to the end and I really appreciate you guys and I really does mean a lot for me. I'm hoping you guys really like the video. If you like the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the figure and let me know what do you think about my video. For seeing more videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Mom, know you're cooking? No, nope, no one's home but me. She'll know now. Fire! Call the fire department! Not from in there. Blowtorch! If there's a real fire in your house, your first job is to escape immediately. Fire spreads quickly. Call the fire department from outside the house. From a neighbor's phone! You got it. You're both safe. Your advice really hit home. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe!